Hi, welcome to GTEC Techno Solutions Private Limited. Here we are going to see about the engineering mechanics and the interview tips. So we have the first question. Define the law of conservation of energy. The answer is according to the principle of conservation of energy the total momentum of a system of masses in any direction remains to be constant unless acted upon by an external force in that direction. So the next question define Newton's law. So the first law is every object in a state of uniform motion tends to remain in that state of motion unless an external force is applied to it. So you can see the depiction of law 1 of Newton's law. So the second law is emphasizing about the relationship between an object's mass that is m and its acceleration that is denoted as a with the applied force getting to be calculated as f equal to m into a that is mass into acceleration. So you can see the depiction of the law 2 of Newton's law over here. The third law is all about for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. So this is the concept of the three laws of Newton. Let's move on to the next question. We got to tell about the principle of resolution. So the principle of resolution is all about the algebraic sum of the resolved parts of a number of forces in a given direction that is equal to the resolved part of the resultant in the same direction. So the next question is all about perpendicular axis theorem. According to the perpendicular axis theorem, the moment of inertia of plane imania about an axis perpendicular to the imania and passing through its centroid is considered to be equal to the sum of moment of inertia about two mutually perpendicular axes passing through the centroid and in the plane of lamina. So the perpendicular axis theorem is given as izz equal to ixx plus iyy. Here i is representing about the moment of inertia of a plane lamina. So this zx and y are nothing to be in terms of axis, z axis, x axis and y axis. Here we go with the next question work energy principle. So we got to tell about the work energy principle. The work done by force acting on a particle during its displacement is equal to the change in the kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is represented as Ke. So the work done by a force on a particular particle during its displacement is equal to the change in Ke of a particle during that displacement. So work done can be calculated as final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy. So from this the kinetic energy can be calculated as half into mv2 to the power of square minus mv1 to the power of square. So here m is mass, v is velocity. We got the next question, the situation kind of stuff. Given a situation where there are two balls of equal mass and of perfectly elastic material which are getting to be lying on the floor and one of the balls with velocity v is made to strike the second ball. So we got to find about the final velocities and the direction of the two balls after collision. The answer is both the balls will move with the velocity v by 2 after impact in the same direction of the incoming ball.
here we got the next question distinguish between the particle and the rigid body if you see about the particle a particle is a body of infinitely small volume and is considered to be concentrated at the point in terms of rigid body rigid body is which does not deform under the action of the loads or as we can say in terms of external forces in case of the rigid body the distance between any two points of the body remains to be constant when this body is getting to be subjected to loads you can see a particle and rigid body over here here we'll move on to the next question define a force a force is defined as an agent that changes r tends to change the position of a body which is either at rest or in motion in terms of motion it might be push pull or twist other than this a force is a vector quantity which has both magnitude and direction define resultant of forces the answer is resultant of a system of forces is considered to be the single force that replaces the original forces without changing the external effect of a system on the body here we have the next question distinguish between the resultant and equilibrant resultant is the single equivalent force of a system of forces system is otherwise said to be group equilibrant is a single force that balances other forces so this one is resultant and this one is equilibrant we have the next question define couple a pair of two equal and unlike parallel forces that is in terms of forces equal in magnitude with lines of action parallel to each other and acting in opposite direction is considered as couple So the next question is list the different types of beams the answer is simply supported beam cantilever beam fixed beam continuous beam and the final one as overhanging beam so these are considered to be the different types of beams We have the next question what is moment of force about an axis so the answer is moment of force acting on a rigid body about an axis measures the tendency of the force to rotate the rigid body about that axis we got the next question state the different types of supports The different types of supports are roller or rocker support, hinged or pin joint support, fixed or built-in support, and the final one is smooth surface or frictionless surface support. So these are considered to be the four different types of supports in terms of the engineering mechanics. Let's move to the next question. What are the different types of loads? The different types of loads are the first one is point or concentrated load, the second one is uniformly varying load, and the third one is uniformly distributed load. So these are considered to be the three different types of loads. You can see the depiction of these three loads. We got the next question. 
differentiate between the simply supported beam cantilever beam and the fixed beam if you see about the simply supported beam it has actually both the ends rest on a simple supports without any fixity if you check out about the cantilever beam it has one end to be fixed and the other end is going to be free whereas in terms of fixed beam it has both ends to be fixed we got the next question differentiate between centroid and center of gravity in terms of the center of figures which have only area but no mass is known as centroid center of gravity is a point where the entire mass or weight of the body is assumed to be concentrated so this is the difference between centroid and center of gravity we got to differentiate between static friction and dynamic friction static friction is a friction experienced by the body when it is at rest or we can say when the body tends to move so this is all about the concept called as static friction if you see about dynamic friction dynamic friction is a friction experienced by the body when it is in motion so the dynamic friction is also called as kinetic friction the next question define angle of repose angle of repose is said to be considered as the maximum angle of inclination that an inclined plane may have to the horizontal before a body lying on a plane begins to slide down under the action of its own weight so this is said to be considered as the angle of repose we got the next question define linear impulse linear impulse or impulse is the product of force acting on a body and the time elapsed we'll move on to the next question what is a wedge a wedge is of a triangular or trapezoid in terms of the cross section it is generally used for slight adjustments in the position of a body that is for tightening fits or key shafts it is also used for lifting heavy weights so this is all about a wedge so we got the next question what is mean by impact or collision a collision between two bodies that last for a very short interval of time during which period the two bodies large forces on each other is called as an impact or collision a line perpendicular to the surfaces of contact during impact is known as the line of impact we got the next question what is mean by translation so the answer is the motion of a rigid body in which the velocity of each element in the rigid body remains equal and the acceleration of each element remains equal is said to be called as translation here we go with the next question distinguish between direct impact and oblique impact if the velocities of two colliding bodies act along the line of impact the impact is called direct impact if the velocities of two colliding bodies act along lines other than the line of impact then the impact is said to be called as oblique impact here we go with the next question define linear momentum the linear momentum of a particle is nothing but the product of mass and velocity Thank you for watching this from GTech